Um, hi, this is Monica again, and uh, this is a quick video on how to use your number two script liner. This is again aimed at my students who are going to be joining uh, one stroke painting class, new students and old students who are still struggling with blending techniques. Uh, this should help you. Uh, the number two script liner is a very important uh, part of detailing. We use it for detailing, signing our names. And uh, this is the only brush in one stroke which we add water to instead of floating medium. Uh, this is just a patch of red I have here and I'm going to teach you how I would add water to it. I would just take my water and you know, drop a few dots, uh, drops of water into the paint and I would just mix it up. Now if your paint is lumpy, thick, old, you would want to kind of use something like a painting knife or a you know just a popsicle stick or something and remove all the lumps and really press the paint in and then after that start adding the water so that you don't have uh, too much of lumpy paint, okay? Once you have enough water in it, it's, uh, you, need, you need to have your paint in a runny kind of watercolory consistency. Um, and then after that, don't make the mistake of starting to paint with this brush that has so much of water in it. Because when you paint, put your brush down like that, you will have water that's just running from the feral part down and then it would just blot uh, your work. So it's always safer. It may not always happen, but it's much better to always wipe your brush off. Once you have a consistent paint that's watered down, you do want to kind of wipe your brush off. Do a test here because sometimes the paper towel doesn't pull off everything. You may miss something. I always touch my brush here to make sure that it's not really that wet. It should just feel damp. And then after that, twist your brush into your paint like that. Okay, twist it in. Twist it in. And again, I'm loading around three fourths of my brush with it and it'll come into a point like that. That's what you are aiming to get. Okay. Uh, you don't want to go and lift a blob of paint like that because then you'll get a very thick line. You don't want such a thick line, okay? You want a thin line. So you're going to twist it in. Twist it into a point. If you still feel there's too much of water, you can just slightly dab the edges of your brush on the paper towel. Normally, I don't do that, but if you feel that it's too watery. And then you can uh, get your liner brush. Vac sheet is not the right uh, surface to be practicing your liner brush. You would want to uh, practice it on some sort of paper, okay? Because paper uh, is, Vac sheet has a layer of wax on it so the water doesn't kind of, uh, you know, it coagulates on top like that. So you wanna just go in and then practice your liner brush like this on, um, uh, paper. So if you twist it in, you can get trees, branches. If you if you have uh, if you learn how to do your liner brush loading correctly, half your problems would be solved. So please practice how to load the brush. Remember to wipe your brush before you pick up paint and start uh, using it. And if you if you are in Arizona, I have a lot of students who are in Phoenix, Arizona. You do have drier climate there. So your paint is going to start drying up faster. So you may have to add water in between if you're doing detailing for a longer period of time. Okay, I hope this uh, helps you and I hope you practice this technique uh, before you get back to class. And for those of you uh, who have any issues, I can clear your doubts in class. All right, thank you, bye-bye.